Straight line, collinearity. So we're going to look at today what is collinearity. So if we look at these three things here, I can draw three points. And if I draw A, B, C here, I'm not in a straight line with each other. You can see that the gradient between A and B is clearly not the same as the gradient between B and C. But B is a common point, but we're not in a straight line, clearly. Or I could draw four points, A, B, C and D, and make the gradient of A to B the same as the gradient of C to D. In other words, these lines are parallel because I've not got a point in common, they're separate lines. However, I could draw three points on a straight line, A, B, C, and clearly the gradient between any two points is the same. The gradient between A and B is the gradient between B and C. Essentially, A to B and B to C are parallel, but since B is a point in both lines, they must be on a straight line, so they're collinear. So B is a common point. So to prove something's collinear, you just check the gradient between two pairs of points, making sure that one point is a co common point, and if the gradient is the same, they're collinear, and if they're not the same, they're not collinear. Nice and simple. So points which lie on the same straight line are called collinear, and that's just a definition. Example one, show that the points P, Q and R are collinear. So we just need to check the gradient between P and Q. Let's use the gradient formula. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, where that would be X1 and Y1, and this would be X2 and Y2. So that is just 2 take away minus 1 over 0 take away minus 6. That gives me 3 over 6, which we can simplify down to a half. Let's do the same thing for Q to R. So if I change my colours here, if I call that X1 and Y1 for Q and X2 and Y2 for R, then the gradient between Q and R equals Y2 minus Y1, 6 minus 2 over 8 minus 0. 6 take away 2 is 4. 8 take away 0 is 8, that simplifies to a half. So I've shown it, but I need to say how I know now. So since the gradient of PQ equals the gradient of QR, PQ and R are collinear as Q is a common point. Example 2 says these points A, B and C are collinear, find the value of K, which is here. So again, it's the same idea, find the gradient between two A to B and make it equal to the gradient between B and C. So our solution, since A, B and C are collinear, then the gradient of A to B must equal the gradient of B to C. So the gradient of A to B is equal to K minus minus 1 over minus 1 take away 1. And the gradient of B to C is 7 minus K over 5 minus minus 1. And we just make them equal to each other. So we've got k plus 1 on the top, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2, equals 7 minus k on the top, 5 minus minus 1 is 6. And these are nice and easy. You do this times this equals this times this. So that gives us 6 times k plus 1 equals minus 2 times 7 minus k. 6k plus 6 is minus 14 plus 2k. Moving the k's across, we get 4k plus 6 is minus 14. So 4k must be minus 20, which means k is minus 20 over 4. So k equals minus 5. This has been Claire Maths today. We've done a quick review of what it means for three points to be collinear and we've shown how we can show that three points are collinear and done some problem solving to find missing values and points. Try these bonus questions, give them a go. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.